All right, guys, so we started moving and we have some help. All right, you can pull the small boxes right there. There we go, perfect. Can I film too? Yeah, you can film whatever you want, sure. Oh, right, and by the way, I gave him one of my GoPros, the GoPro Hero 5, and he loves it. So I have the 5, the 7, and the 9, and he already started doing his own video. So, yeah, we just literally began about uh, 10, 15 minutes ago. So we're gonna stack this the best way we can. What it, it's gonna take a, about three or four days. Cause we have a lot, we're gonna do a little bit at a time. You can put it right on top of that one. That's a medium sized box. box. So let's keep going. There he goes. <laughs> Future YouTuber in the making. All right, so we're back in the pod. Um, and we're gonna wait for pop up to uh, get the boxes and put them back. So let's keep waiting, guys, and have fun. All right, so here it is. Here we go. Go. Small, small, large. So we're gonna try to put all the large boxes and the mediums here and the small ones on top. So. Okay. All right, perfect. All right guys, so I've been asked this a lot. Uh, why am I not buying land or moving to Puerto Rico? Well, the, the answer is simple. My daughter and grandchildren live in upstate New York and that's why I'm moving up there to be closer to them. All right guys, so anything it says for a Geely, just put it on top. Yeah. Fragili. There we go. Fragili. There you go, Fragili. Fragili. All right, that says Fragili as well. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. New word today. All right, guys, I'm kidding. It's fragile. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so again, yes, there is nothing that says I can't buy land or a second home in Puerto Rico in the future. But unfortunately, I'm not that uh, well off, if you know what I mean. But uh, it could happen someday. I don't know. Yes, I do want to have a little bit of property in Puerto Rico sometime in the future. But economically, we can't do that right now, but I will travel and visit as much as I can. Okay. All right, guys, check this out. I purchased this jacket many, many years ago. Whoa. Back in 1986, I was on the USS Thomas E. Hart, and I've had it ever since. I am a senior chief now, hence the uh, insignia. But uh, back then, I think I was a third class petty officer and again that's the reason why I can't move to Puerto Rico as long as my family's here the grandchildren and I don't think they'll ever move to Puerto Rico so yeah that's the reason I'm I'm not moving to the island like I said before family first all right, so someone asked, what do the, the patches and the flags mean? Well, the patches were obviously with commands that we served with uh, during that cruise. These are the countries that I visited during uh, the two or three years before I got this jacket. And some of the flags of places and countries that I visited and noticed the first flag. So my wife went to Home Depot about an hour ago and she met a subscriber by the name of Wanda and her husband's name is Carlos. So yeah, that was an hour ago or so. So I know Wanda wants to get a hold of me and maybe her husband. So if you put a comment down below with your email address, I'll write to you and exchange uh, phone information. And uh, I'll give you a call later today or during the week before we move. So again, if you happen to be Wanda, and or Carlos, just leave me a comment below with your email address and uh, I'll get a hold of you then or that way. Okay. So the house is kind of a mess right now because we're packing. So my office 
my office is I think it's uh, maybe about halfway done I got all kinds of stuff on the floor I gotta get large boxes I'm still working and it's a beautiful day I spent the, uh, the last couple of hours outside and it is hot I think it's about 90 but with the um, humidity it feels a lot worse than that okay <laughs> last box this is the last box for today uh, it's about 6 30 at night we're getting pretty tired so this is what it looks like so far so tomorrow's gonna be another day so what we're gonna do is gonna lock this up tonight and pack for another hour or two inside i have like 20 more boxes that i want to do well maybe not that many maybe uh seven or eight tonight getting ready to for tomorrow and start bringing some of the furniture and just uh you know accommodate it here somewhere and uh, we're gonna start with uh, one of the bedrooms um yeah so yeah the only thing i have left for tonight is i'm going to lock up the pad the pod with this special lock right here that uh, Pod um, gave me when they dropped these things off. Uh, so yeah, how do I do this with with one camera on hand? There we go. There we go. Nice and secure. I have three keys. So I'm gonna give one to my wife. I'll keep one for myself and the other one to my daughter and i'll do the same with the other one once we're done so all right guys so i'm gonna go inside and start the uh, boxing or uh pack a little bit more so with that you guys have a good day afternoon or night wherever you are and i'll see you tomorrow